Hey everybody, this is Dr. Chrissy O'Malley. Uh, I just want to show you a quick tip on how you can use um, an easy online program. It's an internet-based program, but I'm going to show you how you can make a fillable PDF and show you how you can use it in Google Classroom with your students. So one of the problems that I had last year uh, and in previous years is that when we do science fair, it's very simple to get a fillable PDF from the Society for Science and the Public website and then pass it over to students. But in the past, we've had problems with having things that students are able to save. And so one of the things that I was trying to solve this summer was how can we use something that students can have in a savable format, but also how can I create things that I can distribute to my students electronically and then have them be able to type into without being able to change the original document. And so I've been able to solve both of those problems. I'm really excited. Okay, so what we're gonna do first to make our PDF is, um, and I'm just gonna pretend like I can't get it from Society for Science and the Public just because it's simple. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to this uh, online program called PDF Escape. So it's pdfescape.com and it has lots of, well, it has two options. I can either choose the free version or the not free version. I'm gonna choose the free version. And it does a lot of things for me, um, basically all that I need it to be able to do. What I'm gonna do in PDF Escape is click upload because I have a PDF document. So um, I'm assuming that most people know how to do that. Generally, you are going to make your file um, you're gonna make your, your worksheet or whatever you wanna distribute to your students, and then you're gonna save it as a PDF or print to PDF. Um, either one works. Uh, I'm gonna upload that to PDF Escape. All right, so I'm going to choose um, from this Dropbox, I could choose text that will only allow students to fill in the space that's available to them. If you choose text paragraph, um, students will be able to type in a way that would fill the space larger than the box on the page so it would scroll through. I don't want to choose that because if you print, then you wouldn't see all the texts in the box. Check boxes are just what it says. It's so that you create a little space where you can check a box. I'll do that one in a minute. Drop down is where you can select from a, a list of options, which may appeal to you. I haven't really messed with these other ones, so I'm not really sure what they are. So I'm going to do text and I'm going to give my students a place here where they can type their name into this box. Um, I can also duplicate that box, so I can put the same size box here for project title, and you can mess with this so that it fits in that space better. Some titles are quite long. <clears throat> I can also change the properties of my box, so I can make it read only, I can make it so they can see the box or not, I can um, just change all kinds of stuff about that. All right, so that's how I can change boxes. Um, I can also, with form field, select checkbox. Now, this is going to be handy. Um, if I select my box here, now, don't be alarmed. It's going to put a check in the box. That's okay. It's just so that we know that it's there. And then I can duplicate that as many times as I want and use that to cover up each and every one of these so that they're always an option. Grab it. Duplicate. So that is how you make a, a fillable form. I'm not gonna do this whole thing because I don't wanna spend all the time. Uh, but when you're ready to use it, when you're ready to use it, you wanna go over to the, to the left-hand side here. Don't click, I know, we wanna click this desk, right? Don't click there, click the green arrow thing. The green arrow thing is gonna save it and download it to your computer. So now my computer has it saved. And if I open this, I'll find that I've got a form where I can click in the boxes. I can type things in here. That's great. So the second problem that we have with students is that even though that this thing already existed as a fillable form, this particular one, of course, this isn't my custom worksheet that I made for my students. Um, but if I want to use this with kids, what I'm going to do is go to my Google Classroom and this is this one's just set up just for my science fair students. If I go to classwork, I'm going to upload um, some material here. I'm going to upload my P my fillable PDF. Now the trick is is that when students use this, um, we're going to ask them to use Lumen PDF to be able to fill these out. All right. So this then is going to get posted 
my actual students are going to see this. Uh, and then if I go into these ISEF forms, I can click on this, and it gives me a preview. And what I want to do is do open with and choose Lumen PDF. This is an extension, or this is an app, so it's a Google app. You're going to have to load it. Um, and your students will have to have it too. But you upload the file in Lumen PDF. Um, this is already connected to my Google Drive. If you do not have it connected to Google Drive, it'll take a minute for it to do that. So students will need to be aware. All right, so there we go. And in this, I have blanks, I've got check boxes, I can go through here and do this. Now, the problem that we had before, and we would try to do this in other apps, is that it doesn't, those apps didn't share a student's progress. So they would have to go and fill out the forms all in one swipe and then print them as hard copy or save them as PDF. And then they were uneditable to the students. What's special about this is that if I go and select the little the little cloud button in the upper right corner, this thing will actually sync it to my Google Drive. Once it's synced to my Google Drive, I can go back and open it with Lumen PDF and then students can can change things in that. Um, so I think I think that's pretty cool and pretty simple to use. Uh, and it gives you the ability to do um, some editing. Now, what I don't know about this, I don't know if it's editable after somebody, after a student submits or shares it with an adult. I don't, I haven't tried that, so I don't know. Uh, but that's possible. Um, or you could have students work on it as a PDF and then and then save it in a different way to share with you. So that may be an option. Um, but anyway, I hope that that quick tip helps you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'll see you soon.